गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर हेयर टू टॉक अबाउट कैबिन क्रू गर्ल्स एयरलाइन ऑपरेशन देयर आंसर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड देयर बेनिफिट माई नेम इज वंदिका लॉम्बा आई एम अ को फाउंडर ऑफ एयर क्रूज एविएशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड यू कैन फाइंड ऑन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एयर क्रूज एविएशन डॉट कॉम माई डिटेल्स आर देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर स्क्रीन यू कैन फाइंड ऑन आवर सोशल मीडिया फेसबुक ट्विटर लिंक एंड इंस्टाग्राम फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन Let's talk about their meaning, requirement, benefits, and what are the common questions and answers asked for Gulf Air. So these are the basically years of expansion when they have started their uh, uh, journey. The Gulf Aviation, uh, 1950; Gulf Air, 1973; Gulf Air, 2001. Let's talk about what is Gulf Air. Let's talk about Gulf Air. Gulf Air is a state-owned airline and the flag carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Headquartered in Muharra, the airline operates scheduled flights to 52 destinations in 28 countries across Africa, Asia, and Europe. Its main hub is in Bahrain International Airport. The CEO of Gulf Air is Walid Al Alawi, still present from October 2020. The headquarters of Gulf Air is in Manama, Bahrain. The parent organization is Mumta Kala Holding Company, founded in 1950, Manama, Bahrain, and the hub, as I told you, is Bahrain International Airport. So let's talk about the requirements if you want to be employed in Gulf Air. Your age should be between 21 to 30 years. Your minimum height should be 160 centimeters. fluency in english and if you know any other language it could be an added advantage for you you should be able to swim 50 meter there should not be any visible tattoos or any scars on your body and you will be surprised that they open their positions only and only for females yes only for females now let's talk about their benefits they give you a free training they give you free transport and accommodation they give you free health insurance they give you 36 days annual leave approximately 2000 euro salary per month and 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 a one ticket per year free which is followed by some discounted tickets per year so these are the amazing benefits which gulf air is providing to you let's talk about some common question and answers which are asked when you go for an interview the first question you should always be knowing where you are going for an interview you should know about that company so that is the very very common the question asked so they going to ask you what do you know about our airline so with this question your potential employers are essentially checking that have you done your homework about the airline you are applying for to so make sure your company research before the interview and familiarize yourself with the key details so the most important thing to know are the airline's operational features such as how many aircraft they are running what are their flight routes their flight plans and what are their future goals you can find all this information on their airline website See, it is always a good idea to mention any positive aspect of the company that you have noticed through external industry website, news, or magazine articles. So always go for these options. Ultimately, you want to show off that you are aware that you are aware what their employees are doing and what they are plan what they are planning to do in the future. So that is another a very common question asked. that where do you see yourself in the next 5 years so this is a very common common question in many interviews but in the context of the airline industry where the staff turnover can be high you are essentially being asked how long you are planning to stick around because this is a most under pressure work so that is your answer should be very diplomatic after all it's fairly common for cabin crew to gain experience with a smaller airline and then jump to a bigger one that flies more exotic routes instead you can talk about how you want to focus on growing learning and improving yourself and mention how you are confident that the airline you are applying to allows you to do that 
you don't have to convince your interviewer that you are committed to their company for life you don't have to convince that i i will be working for you for my lifetime you don't have to convince that instead you have to just focus on growing learning and how you can improve yourself day by day let's talk about when they ask you what are your strengths to answer this question you need to first understand the key skills and personality traits that airlines are looking for you need to first understand what they are looking for you need to apply this to your answer for for instance for example air hostesses and hostesses deal with hundred kinds of passengers a day each has their own needs demands and cultural background therefore you need to be an excellent communicator that's the very number one point which is required in this industry that you should be an excellent communicator you should be capable of handling multiple requests at a time and even diffusing situations where necessary you will also need to display strong teamwork skills attention to detail and a relentless work ethic the trick is to select the qualities that best describe you and then align them with you what your interviewer is looking for do you prefer working alone as a part of a team this is a very important question because as an employer uh, putting this question they are asking whether you are a reserved person or you are a team player so in this context of a cabin crew interview the answer to this particular interview should be pretty obvious airlines are looking exclusively for those people who work well in team as the success of the entire customer operation depends entirely upon a smooth running service you have to convince the interviewer that you are a team player and you can work alongside you can't say that i love to work alone you can't say that because it's a friendly organization you have hundreds of people around you so you have to say that you love to be in a team player don't completely play down your ability to work independently airline wants their staff to be capable of thinking on their feet and not just relying on the instructions from others you can also think for yourself when you need to next question when they ask you recall a time when you had to deal with a difficult customer they can put you in a situation where they going to put you some examples that uh please explain us where you have been in a very difficult situation and how you have resolved that issue so there is a conventional wisdom in customer service circles about how in any given situation the customer is always right and while call service handler retail assistant and waiter the world over might frequently disagree with the sentiment it's important that you remember it when answering this question as previously mentioned good customer service is a large part of an air hostess job so your potential employer employers will be carefully scrutinizing your response when recalling your story be sure to mention what were your empathetic and non judgmental towards the customer and how at all times despite your own personal feelings you demonstrated a sincere desire to help them how will you handle being away from your family and friends because this is a job where you stay away two to three days to a base station from a base station to wherever you are flying to so they going to ask you how you going to deal with it so this question is not just alluding to the physical distances you will be traveling but to the long and demanding working hours as well the flights operate at all hours of the day 365 days a year so it's likely that at some point of time you have to make sacrifices in your personal life i have been from the aviation industry from the last 14 years and i have missed personally many kinds of festivals many kinds of social gatherings so that's okay when your job is at the top So are you applying for vacancies at any other airline so this is also a tricky question they are checking your honesty that you have applied with us so are you applying with any other airlines as well so don't overplay it just it just give you in the impression that you will work for any old airline it undermines the rest of your answers and suggest so just be 
clear and point that yes or no. What is the Gulf Air employee discount? So it is like 50 to 90 percent as per our survey. What is the organizational culture at Gulf Air? It is very helpful and open culture. What interview questions do they ask at Gulf Air? Why do you want to join join us? Because that was my first question to you because that's what they're going to ask you. Why do you want to join us? How are the working hours at Gulf Air? So it is like 40 to 50 hours a week. They have flexible working hours and schedule two up to four days spending away from your base station depending upon the flight schedule. What work situations excite and motivate you? I am most motivated on the job when tasks are organized and the vibe is positive. So these are some of the answers which we have summed up for you when you are going to say something positive about yourself and uh, it shows your positivity and creativity while answering all these questions. Next question, when have you had to shift your priorities in response to sudden changes? In my current role, our schedule is changed on a regular basis and always at short notice. I have been able to adapt very well to these frequent sudden changes. So basically here you have to say that you are very flexible. You are very flexible in the changing environment. You are not reserved. You can be adjustable in any and every kind of situation. Why would you want to work at Gulf Air? See, uh, that is the question they're going to ask you very well because so the answer to this question you can say because it is a multinational company which recognizes the re need for multilingual, multicultural and multinational staff. They are not bound only with one nationality, so they are very friendly. The local nationals are very easy to work with. The roles or the functions are very well defined and there is a clarity in hierarchy. What are the some tips for during the interview? Just be confident. Just be confident and you should have experience, knowledge where you are applying. How does someone get hired at Gulf Air? What are the steps along the way? First, they're going to check you about your grooming. You should be well groomed, no tattoos, no blemishes no funky hairstyles. Then there would be a written test. Uh, then there would be a personal interview. And yes, the swimming is mandatory. So yes, there would be a swimming test as well. Uh, well, these are some of our books which are available on Amazon. Uh, most successful female entrepreneurs of India and pilots career guide. You can uh, go on to Amazon and look onto these books for your career options. Uh, thank you so much. You have any doubts, suggestions, advices, anything you can, please don't hesitate to be in touch with us. Thank you so much, Vandika Lamba from Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. Thank you.